Hello and welcome back to our Countdown to Easter where we're considering some of the snippets of the Easter events that it might otherwise be easy to overlook. Now tomorrow is usually called Maundy Thursday and it's the day we attribute to the moment when Jesus washed the disciples feet. Today however we're going to look at how John in John's Gospel sets up this event. Now his Gospel falls roughly into two halves. You've got Jesus' public ministry in the first 12 chapters and then the last events of his life in chapters 13 to 21. So as we're looking at the first few verses of chapter 13, we're considering the opening scene in the last act. Now, right at the beginning of any play script, you usually have a list of the people involved in the, in the drama, the characters that you need. Now, when John writes about the events in his gospel, normally he just tells the story, introducing the characters as he needs them. But here he does something unexpected. He gives us a list of the characters in advance. And he tells us what each part uh, the person will play in the drama that's about to begin. Now, far from being a, a plot spoiler, John is setting out the background here so that we can comprehend what is going to take place immediately afterwards. Here's what he says. <clears throat> it was just before the Passover festival. Jesus knew that the hour had come for him to leave this world and go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. Now the evening meal was in progress and the devil had already prompted Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot, to betray Jesus. Jesus knew that the Father had put all things under his power and that he had come from God and was returning to God. So here's the character list. And there are two distinct kinds of characters. There are characters who are seen, and we've got Jesus, who has already turned the disciples' lives upside down and is now going to perform another remarkable sign. And we've got Judas, who already has it in mind to get rid of Jesus. Judas put his own gain before the work of God. Now behind them, you've got two characters who are not seen. John talks about the devil who has already prompted Judas to betray Jesus. It was Satan who took the initiative and found a willing helper in Judas. And we've got God the Father, guiding and empowering his son, prompting him about the things that were about to happen. So behind the coming confrontation between Jesus and Judas, we can see God the Father and the devil himself. So here we have the makings of a battle royal. And we get the impression that, that Jesus sensed this. In this passage then, Jesus fires the opening salvo. And how does he do it? By rebuking Satan, by shouting, by fire and miracles. You know, Satan, I challenge you to a duel, incantations at 40 paces. No. He adopts the servant's place. He's going to be victorious in this battle using two things the devil particularly detests, humility and love. And that's tomorrow's story. God bless you. Well, from here you can subscribe to the channel and if you click the little bell icon, you'll get a ping when I put something new up. You can also see some of the other videos by clicking elsewhere on this screen.